So let's look at the headlines. TB spiked 500% in Twin Falls during 2012 as Shobani Yogurt opened the plant. The blessings just continue. Seven refugees with active TB sent to Idaho when they know they have it. Cherry picking facts and blending them into false narratives has been uh, difficult for our community. Um, I think it's unfair to the Twin Falls community uh, because it paints a picture of uh, what people think we are that isn't accurate. Don't judge things if you don't know the whole truth. They haven't come in here, they haven't experienced it, they shouldn't be saying anything about it. People he brought in have been pleading guilty to rape and that TB's exploding from folks being brought in. So we all know, you know, hamburger, cheeseburger. So who knows about the cabbage rolls? Who knows about chibapi, the small biffling sausages, flat bread? Who knows about uh, the Bosnian coffee, or bean soup, or baklava, or sweet bread? I feel sorry for the people who live in these countries that are having such a hard time. And when they come in, we had some neighbors that were refugees for about five years. And we just loved them to death, but we had to help them and teach them everything that we possibly could. But I mean, it was fun. And now when they've moved and when we see them, they're so friendly and they hug us. And... Chobani founder gets threats and the calls are now coming out to boycott bringing in more refugees. That was last year. But they're, they're very beneficial for us to, to have. They're extremely hard and dedicated workers. You have a cultural challenge, but, but that is a challenge that uh, my employers who are using refugees have learned how to overcome or uh, how to address. Um, and, uh, and I think you know, they are an asset. They're an asset to our industry. Refugees are an asset to our community. Outsiders, meaning people that are not from this community, uh, should let community members uh, uh, um, uh, give out information from this community because those are the people that know these refugees very well. Maybe he didn't know that it's part of the Islamic religion to rape women that aren't attended and put hoods over their heads and enslave them. Maybe he's not really a Muslim, even though he is. But I said, I'm give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's a heretic. We all have a responsibility uh, to love and defend our community. And when people who have never been here, who don't understand the fabric of the community, uh, try to tell a story about it uh, without facts, uh, that's detrimental to all of us. Well, I think that Chobani has been a good thing for the Magic Valley. The refugees that have come to our country, you know, that are here, they're, they're doing what they have to do to better their lives. And as long as they're in our country and here, you know, they need to be working. They need to be productive in what they're doing. So him helping those people to be able to have jobs and to be productive and to grow in the community and be part of what was, what's going on, I feel like it's a good thing. Yeah, you wait till the Idaho jury, brother sits there and sees all this and knows all this. Won't matter half of them work at your damn plant. They hate your guts, too. They hate your thuggery. They hate your bullying. They hate your Islamification. They hate your genital mutilation. They hate everything Islam does. You have no idea what's going on in rural Idaho. So why don't you just keep your blogs and your tweets to yourself? You know, if you don't live here, you know, you don't interact in this community, so butt out.